Welcome to Quilt Manager version 5.01. In this tutorial, we will be getting to know the user interface of Quilt Manager. First off, what is a user interface? A user interface is everything that you see in the Quilt Manager software. The main parts of the user interface include the top toolbar, the side toolbar, the fly outside toolbar, the quilt area, the artboard, and the ruler. The top toolbar contains the system tools of Quilt Manager. If you hold your mouse over an icon, you will see a text box that displays the name of the feature. This text box will appear when you hold your mouse over most any tool and feature. The top toolbar and its features are mostly system related. The side toolbar is used to edit and create quilt patterns. Whenever a tool is selected, it will have the appearance of a depressed button. This depressed button state will show you which tool is selected for use. It is worth pointing out that some tools in the top toolbar will show this depressed state. Some of these tools will have modifiers located on a second toolbar that will work and complement with the selected tool. This is the fly outside toolbar. Not all tools will have a fly outside toolbar. The quilt area is this white area. Often the quilt area will have vertical and horizontal grid lines. These lines serve as a guide to help you in positioning elements of your patterns. We will discuss this more in a later tutorial. Just know that these lines are not stitched as part of the pattern. Surrounding the area is the artboard. The artboard is an area that you can place lines, shapes, and patterns. Everything in this area will save just as if it was on the quilt area. Lastly, a set of vertical and horizontal rulers surround the artboard and quilt area. The ruler uses the set dimensions located here in the top toolbar. This has been a brief overview of the Quilt Manager user interface. This is how you will interact with all aspects of the Quilt Manager software.